In this video I will show you a power supply that doesn't use a transformer. This power supply is based on a bridge rectifier that is both a rectifier and a voltage reducer. It is composed of two sinner and two normal diodes. If we use 12 volt sinners, the output voltage will be 0.7 volts lower than that, or 11.3 volts. The maximum current with the components shown in the diagram is around 70 milliamps. For the normal diodes, you can use the 1N4007 diode. This is the voltage reducer and rectifier bridge. As you can see, it has two sinner diodes and two normal rectifier diodes. Observe the polarity of the diodes. The negatives are all at the right. The AC current goes in these two points and the rectifier DC current is here negative and positive. Ok, this is our circuit. Here you can see the resistor and capacitor and together they form the impedance that limits the current. The bridge rectifier, as you can see, has the two sinner diodes and two normal rectifier diodes and the output capacitor. Let's test the circuit. Here is the connection to mains voltage and the output of the circuit is connected to the multimeter. I am using 5.6 volt sinner diodes so we should get a voltage close to that value. Let me connect the circuit. So as we can see the voltage is a little bit less than 5.6 volts. Now let me check the short circuit current. And as we can see, the maximum current that the circuit can provide is 73 milliamps. This circuit is useful for small loads. For example, I have here a couple of LEDs in series. As you can see, they work pretty well. Let me now try with this little electric motor. And there you have it, it works pretty well also. As I said before, the output voltage is set by the value of the sinner diodes. If you want more voltage, you can put another sinner diodes of higher voltage. And the current is controlled by the capacitance. If you want more current, you add more capacitance, but of course you will need thinner diodes of higher power. You have to be careful with this circuit because it is directly connected to the mains. There is no isolation transformer. So if you use this circuit, it is a good idea to put it in a plastic enclosure. Thank you.